Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it's Thursday, and that means it is time for another whiskey review for you. And today, I have something unique and exciting, and I'm about to tell you about it. It is from Copper Sky Distillery right here in Colorado. This is actually a very special bottle. This one comes from, well, I got this one. Wow, I just had a brain fart for a second. I got this one from the Colorado Bourbon Community. This is a wheat whiskey finished in Madeira and apple brandy. So it's very unique, has a lot of flavor, a ton of flavor actually. It comes in at 114.4 proof. It's called The Lady in Red. I love this label, it's so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's a beautiful bottle, a beautiful label. And let's dive in and see how this whiskey actually smells, tastes, all the jazz. You know the, you know the drill. Let's get into this. I'm excited to drink this and tell you guys what I think. So, ah, on the nose, this one is very sweet and very rich. This one's actually a 95% wheat, so super high weeded whiskey. This one has raisins, vanilla. It smells velvety and rich, like velvety rich. Like, I don't know how to explain that, but that's what it is. Velvety, rich, nice. Like, I feel like if you were like on a, a red pleather, not pleather, but like a red, uh, oh, what is that kind of stuff? Velvet. That's the word, <laughs> velvet. Red velvet couch. And you were just like running your hands on it. That's what it smells like to me. The flavor, I get apples, even a little bit of orange peel, but definitely a lot of raisin. A lot of raisin, maybe even a little bit of walnuts. Like I almost wanted to say oak, but it's actually like walnuts. It's very nice on the nose, actually. Very nice, very sweet, and very rich. Ah, yeah, super nice. Doesn't burn the nose hairs. Definitely does not burn the nose hairs. Now let's dive in and taste what this is like. Mm. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Oh, the whiskey shines through. Because when I'm thinking like that this is double finished, in my mind, I'm like, this is going to be like over finished, too much flavor like comes through and you can't taste the whiskey. But no, it is very, very well balanced. And it was finished perfectly, to be honest with you. This tastes so good. I get some apple. I definitely get a lot of that apple, that apple brandy flavor that comes through. But I also still get some of that raisin and I get some of that richness that I was getting on the nose, that velvety richness. It's lightly oily, not overly oily on the tongue. And the finish just carries on. It's not too hot. The flavor just stays there. It's very sweet. I'm gonna take another swig of this. Oh yeah, that's really, really nice. Really, really nice. Mm. I really like that, that raisiny, walnutty, like apple flavor I'm getting. It kind of reminds me of like a apple, walnut, like glazed little, oh, you know those things with the crumbles, the apple streusel thing? It's like an apple streusel. Oh, that's what it tastes like to me. Yeah, an apple streusel that has a little bit of walnut on it right when it comes out of the oven. So it's super nice and warm and the flavor is very rich. A little bit of cinnamon even. Oh, it's really, really, really nice. Oh, and look how dark that color is. Like this one has a really dark color. It's really nice looking. Yeah, this is nice. Excited, cause this is from Copper Sky right here in Colorado. And I always get excited when I have opportunities to share Colorado whiskey with you guys because it's fun. And um, Copper Sky does source from MGP, but they do all their own finishing. And this finishing is incredible. Really, really incredible. Ah, so now it's time for me to give you my rating on this one. And I'm gonna go with three and a half corks out of five. It's really, really good. It's really nicely done. Wow. The more I sit here and talk to you, the more I get that sweet, rich apple taste. Uh, that's so nice, but it's not overpowering to the whiskey. The whiskey itself is still there. It's so nice. It is really, really a good whiskey. If you're ever out here in Colorado, I would highly recommend a stop in at, at Copper Sky. I know they just moved into a new building, 
So that's really exciting for them. And this is good stuff. Really, really good stuff. I like, I have another bottle I really, really enjoy too from Copper Sky right now. Can't get enough of it. The light whiskey. Ah, oh, so good. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this one and it is so darn delicious. So if you're in Colorado and you're in the CBC, you, you know someone, grab a bottle of this. I highly recommend it. It's good stuff. And that is another review, another Thursday review right here from The Average Drinker. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with so much more, more reviews every Thursday and live streams on Mondays and Tuesdays. You know that I do Will It Blends and Sundays I do videos too. So yes, all the videos. Anyhow, thank you guys so much. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.